Hello, this is Wesley Fryer with Moving at the Speed of Creativity, and in this screencast I'm going to be explaining how you can embed a VoiceThread digital story in a blog post that you write using the website Blogger. This is a screencast I'm creating for my Technology for Teachers class, about which you can learn more on PowerfulIngredients.com. In the preceding six screencasts, we have seen how we can create an account on the website VoiceThread, and we can actually create a digital story using this website and finding copyright friendly images that we're going to be able to use. And once you've created a VoiceThread, you can click on this icon on a VoiceThread that you um, own and actually I'm doing the wrong one. You can click in the corner here on menu and you can choose to edit the voice thread and you'll be able to see all of, uh, all of the, the details about it. And you can go down to the bottom of the edit menu and choose embed. Now there's actually another shortcut that you can use to get to this embed and that is that when you've selected your voice thread and you click on the menu they now have a direct link here to go to embed so you don't have to go to edit but you can directly um, select embed here and voice thread gives you two ways to share your uh, your link and I'm gonna first go ahead and just copy the direct link here and this is going to be copied to my clipboard and I'm going to use the website blogger to go ahead and share my post and so here in my blogger dashboard I'm gonna to need to scroll down to the blog that I'm going to want to use and I'm going to click new post on that blog and I'm going to put a title so this is gonna be my voice thread about severe weather I go ahead and type whatever I'd like. So this is a voice thread digital story I created about severe weather. And I will highlight whatever I would like to link. And then I'm going to click the link button. And it's going to prompt me, I'll go ahead and scroll up here, to put in that address. And so I will right click, or if I'm on a Mac, control click and choose paste and when I click OK then that is going to be linked and I'm actually in this edit HTML mode it's sometimes easier when you're adding links to be in the compose mode and you can flip back and forth between these different modes now the next step is a little bit more technical but it's not going to be horrible and what I'm going to do is instead of clicking to copy this link I'm going to copy this embed code and I'm going to simply click copy here and that information is going to be copied again over to my clipboard what I'm going to do in blogger this time is not be in the compose mode but be in this edit HTML mode and I am going to paste the, te the code that I just copied down below and what that's going to do when I go to my compose mode is it's going to put in all of the required code so that I'll be able to have this embedded in my um, in my blog and people will be able to directly click on it so I can type anything else that I'd like to include in the post and then I will click publish post here at the bottom and that is going to publish that to my blog so I'm going to choose to view my post in a new window. I do that by control clicking or right clicking on view post. And I'm going to open that in a new window. And now over here I can see that I have a new post on my blog and I actually in addition to having a link have my voice thread embedded right here so that I can click play and I can immediately start viewing this voice thread that I created with comments. So it really is a great idea to use embed code when you're posting things on a blog, a wiki, or another site because this prevents people from having to go to a different site in order to see your media. They can simply click on it and begin viewing it right away. So I hope this has been a helpful series of screencasts for you. Again, I would commend our website for our course that you can find on PowerfulIngredients.com if you'd like to find more information about this. And I wish you the best of luck as you create digital stories with copyright-friendly media using VoiceThread as well as other digital tools.